All right, guys, so we're down at the bottom of the Lehigh Trail system. Just parked here off of Burnett. Go through this gate and follow that up. Let's get to the climb. So right off the bat, coming through the gate, you can see there's like a little jump line. Going through the first ped gate. Coming up to this sign right here for Amy's loop, a mile and a half. Complete loop back to this spot. Black diamonds left and then some blue to the right. So this trail system already seems super cool. There's like already a bunch of features just rolling into it like a half mile. So right now we're just climbing up around the blue side. So carcass cut off, which we're gonna follow, keeps going up and then that'll take you back down to Amy's. Continuing that climb up, literally took us five minutes to get to this spot. Coming up to another sign here. So we got Jane's loop. So right when you get to the top where Jane's loop is, that's the beginning of carcass cutoff. So it looks like what we're gonna do, we came to Jane's loop. It looks like carcass cutoff takes you up to Jane's loop, which is the, you can either ride carcass down or you can continue the loop to other trails. So we're gonna take it right here and go up and around. right across the street from Love's gas station. So we decided we're just gonna do it and if we have to climb back up and run out of water, there's a gas station right there, so. <laughs> Continuing on Jane's loop. That goes up to the, when you get to the top of Geronimo, it splits. Okay, yeah, he said the flow trail, just go as fast as you want, big sweeping terms and tabletops, that sounds fun. There's the DVO bridge. We're rolling over the DVO bridge here, and check it out. That's cool. The fact that there's a gap there is insignificant. Like it doesn't do anything. You don't have to pull up. You just roll off of it. Perfect. <laughs> Keep on going Jane's loop under the DVO bridge. We just had to hit that feature because it looks sick. And uh, keep going up towards Geronimo and Crazy Horse. Yeah. Took a swig of water and choked on it. So I had to stop. <laughs> like picnic tables, a little spot to put your bike down off of the bench where the little first aid kit is. And then we're, this is where we started. So that's west and then this is north. We're gonna head up this way. Watch out for pedal slap on that. I'll have to switch backs on the climb. <laughs> Two miles from the top is the drop in for Geronimo. Goes all the way down, switch backs through the mountains and then down back to the cars. <laughs> Did you record any of that? Yeah, <laughs> about seven miles into this ride once you get up the hill up here it starts to get a little windy it feels really good when you're sweating <laughs> Woo, time to stick or slap <laughs> That's cool. how are you guys good, how, you doing? how are you guys build the builders yeah. awesome nice to meet you shane hey brandon <laughs> you guys got a great system out here man that's cool meeting them trail builders out here so they gave us the inside scoop on what to hit where to hit it crazy horse and t-town flow I think we're gonna do T-Town Flow today because that's the new one. Kind of eyeballing it. There's like a little gap jump right there into this and we're gonna go right here to follow the blue trail. And this is the double black going into that side of the mountain. This will be a fun little gap. Dropping in T-Town Flow to Hatchaby, California. Ready? Let's go. Woo, a little gap into the super soft. This is brand new, but T-Town Flow, let's do it. Ooh. Okay, yeah, you could really send those. Oh, it's windy though. You don't want to send it too much. <laughs> Oh yeah, soft. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, it's so soft. After a rain, this would be awesome. Woo! 
Woo, sliding. Ooh, sliding. That's a fun one. Cool feature. <laughs> Getting brake feed. Ooh, I lost my brake right there. Ooh, we hit T-Town. -town, That's a new flow trail. It's oh, loose yeah, right now, but... Legendary trail, though. Yeah. It needs a little water. Yeah, as soon as that thing's wet and, and uh, packed down, it's gonna be freaking crazy. Yeah, the blue trails on this side are more packed because they're older. Nice. Ooh, that one's sending you right in that transition. That's fun. Woo! Moving. Woo, on the way back. We hit that little jump section we saw in the beginning. Oh, that was fun. How you feel? Pretty good. <laughs> Tired, dude. 2,132 2, feet of climbing, I think it was That's on my how travel. I feel. So <laughs> you got a little bashing bruise, but T-Town was fun. It's super soft right now because it's brand new. 
So just keep that in mind when you come out here. I think next time we're definitely going to hit Crazy Horse or Geronimo because they're older trails. Yeah. But uh, the whole right side or the, uh, the south side of the mountain, those blue trails look like they're super fun. They were super packed. We climbed up most of like uh, Carcass, I think it was called, but uh, hit some of the jumps on the way back down and it was a blast. So They're just not as long as the uh, T-Town, but uh, you could probably run them. Yeah. Back to back. It'd be kind of like Deep a... Town, you're not going to run it twice in a day. Kind of like, yeah, no, no. 2,000 feet of climbing, if you want to climb back up, be my guest. But yeah. they need a shuttle for sure. So anyway, guys, if you have any questions, hit up the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell Julio you like uh, how he falls down. <laughs> and, uh, I'm catch good you, at that. Catch you in the next one, guys.